Hello guys, welcome back to Strike Eagle Models. This is um, update two on the Reval Spitfire in 132 scale, Mark II, eh? Um, I've managed to get all the cockpit done. Well, most of it, I haven't put the, the firewalls on the cockpit tub yet. They are painted up, I've just got to put a bit of uh, silvering on them for weathering. Um, and I've just got to paint up the little, the little oxygen tanks and things like that. Um, and I'll show you what I've been doing. But first of all, see those are those pieces. What I've done, I'm going to put some dry brush around here. I might add um, some wash, which I've got this one. I might use. I'm not sure. I've got this one to use. Might have a go with that one. I've used it before. That's a clay based wash and it just wipes off when it's dry. Leave it to dry for about 20 minutes and then just wipe it off with some kitchen roll. I have, there'll be a slideshow guys afterwards. So all the, all these parts, well, there'll be some close ups so you can see them better. So I've done two of those. Um, and there's your, I've done these um, bare metal and I'm going to put some weathering on them so I'm going to put some soot stains I'm going to put some yellows and some blue weathering on them with black to simulate the well the black will be on the tips and then I'll have the yellow and the blues that will simulate burnt um, steel um, I used this one extreme metal and I'm going to use that on some of the internal parts as well some of the uh, not the throttle gauges and things. I'm going to use that. That's quite good stuff. Um, I've done that. Uh, I've made a bit of a cock up with this because I, I should have painted these for stuck them on, but I've stuck st stuck the props on onto there. So now I'm going to have to mask these up with some tape so I can paint this black because this is actually um, supposed to be the undercarriage colour, which is, uh, ooh, what is it? I can't remember what colour it is. Oh, XF21, that's XF21. The same as the nose cone. Uh, so I've got to do that. Now I'll put some dry brush chip in on the prop to simulate um, damage. Um, I've done two of the flaps, they're all primed and pre-shaded, there you go, they're done guys, what I did with those I put a Steino Res um, primer on, the Steino Res primer comes in a lot of shades but I used the grey, light grey and the black and it seems to enhance detail as well when you put it on. I've been very impressed with that product. There is the grey one. And there is the black one. Very good product. Uh, you have to be careful that you use it quite quick because if you spend half an hour messing around with your airbrush, it will start to um, dry in the airbrush. So as long as you're quick with it, it's fine. Yep, yeah, so they've they've come up come up really well. Um, I put a grey primer on them, then I use my fine detailing airbrush, which was that one, which is in a water airbrush, and it's um, uh, HP SB plus that one. And I use that. You you need to use a a quite a decent detailing airbrush to do the. Uh, pre-shading otherwise it, you just can't get it right um, you can get away with using this one but you have to put it on the lowest air pressure setting and the lowest setting on your airbrush and this one's uh, Ernest Ernest of Water um, CMC plus this one that was a quite an expensive one I got a got it for a present which I'm very impressed with that because you do 
quite a lot you can get down to some fine detail and you can go right up the other range to some big detail with this you can spray your whole plane with this or whatever you're doing all right so i put the the grey primer on then i used a fine detail brush to do the black pre-shade and then i just put some light a light covering over with the um xf21 and sprayed more so in the middle off the pre-shade and it gives you that effect so i've done that um, the wheels are done i've just got to uh paint the middle bits mask them up and then do the rubber black i'm going to sand off the bottom of the wheel to simulate uh weight pressure on the wheel so i'm going to do that as well give it that extra bit of a realism um, those are your radiator covers I've got this four of those and I did those in the um, AK Extreme Metal as well um, I've weathered up the wheel guards there I've done those as well using the same process I've just showed you on the flaps exactly the same both of those done I've done the inside of the radiator cover and I've put a bit of brown a bit of black there to try and simulate some like used dirt dirt look but I think I'll put a bit of dirt simulation on here and obviously I'm going to do the same on here afterwards with weathering powders but I will pre-shade that to give it a darker look in the first place and then I'll just add a bit of black weathering powder to the top of that um, there's the fuselage I'm going to do some weathering in here some of it's going to be covered anyway because of the sides of the fuselage tub um, and I'm going to do some weathering on these parts and I've still got a few little parts to put on um, and I've got to do this I forgot to weather paint that bit <coughs> excuse me I've done the insides of these with the same process I've just said it just gives it that bit of realism and it's not that hard to do at all just a bit of preparation work that's all guys I've done that uh, there is the nose cone you can see the black the black pre-shade coming through there that this has had a coat of um, a clad gloss lacquer on it you can just see the black coming through just to simulate the aging and the dirt so you don't have to do too much weathering at the end so that's done and that's the back wheel done the same with that um, the wheel wells I've done those you see that that's the XF uh, XF 21 sky done that there is a bit of pre-shade on but I didn't put too much on it's quite hard to get in with the airbrush I should have done it before I glued them in I have done that with my FW I did before the Revell one uh, what else have I done now we come to the main part this is what I've done in the last couple of days I used the decal what came with the kit which I'm quite impressed with it, it sits into because it's already detailed on the cockpit dash anyway so they just press those details press into those ex pre-existing um details already and then i put uh i put some mr mark setter on them to set them down and i use some red micro solution to bed it down which really helps the process um, i haven't finished with this yet i've still got a few things to do i was debating on doing the seat brown but I haven't actually done it at the moment. I've done it just green. Um, I put some dry brush chipping inside, as you can see. Uh, I have looked at some cockpit drawings for this, and it actually shows those rudder pedals are actually sprayed green, but on the colour call out, it tells you to do them metal. So I've just done the metal for now. Yeah. The oxygen tanks go either side of here when you've got the thing, the firewalls on there. Yeah, so that's come out okay 
there's no wash on this at all. All, all that is pre-shade and dry brush at the moment. So I might add a few more little bits in, not too sure. Uh, that, that's that, guys. Very impressed with that. Right. Um, that's about it, guys. That's my uh, progress so far. Um, what I've got to do next, I've just got some, uh, I've got them here actually. I've just got these little bits here in here. That's obviously for the prop. There's your throttles and your, that's like a sort of a handbrake thing. Uh, that's your aerial thing. I've got quite a few things. There's your door, I've got to do that. There's the aerial. So I've got all these to prime up and then put them on. I'm going to do this metal, silver and black. Uh, and that's going to be, some of these are black but on there here for some reason it's showing it to do it um, silver on this one. Um, there's a little box there, radio box to do. And a few little bits to put on so that's my next job to do. Right then guys, um, I'll let you uh, go and enjoy the slideshow. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.